Hello everyone, I am here with um, another game of uh, our fourth Grandmaster Abhijit Kunte. So he became Grandmaster in 2000 that is uh, in the year 2000 and uh, um, I am just presenting one of the games which he played in 2000 against one of the players uh, Jolton Almasi. And uh, here in this game, it is uh, a standard developer's uh, position, and that is uh, Jaitsav variation. So, Jaitsav variation, uh, like you know, is uh, described by one of the players called Jaitsav, Igor Jaitsav. So, he is uh, he's now 84 years old and he is still alive, and um, he was uh, Anatoly Karpos trainer. So, Carpo used this JSA variation of the rule of from black side successfully and uh, um, he just popularized it. Alright, so we will go ahead with uh, the game and uh, opening lots for 20 moves and after that in 10 moves game got over. So, let us see how game continued. Okay, yeah. Uh, Kunte started with uh, pawn e4. Almasi replied with e5, nf3, nc6, bishop b5. We have a real opus here. a6, bishop a4, knight f6, castling. So, main line again. Bishop e7, rook e1, b5, bishop b3, d6, c3. Standard uh, moves once again. Castling and here h3. So, some people directly play d4 and uh, black will replace bishop g4. So, but this is the main line, h3 is the main line. After that, here first uh, almost he played rook e8 in this position, but in the main uh, continuation of the opening, bishop b7, uh, d4, rook e8, nb d7, bishop f8. These are all the move orders, but the same position we reached after uh, two extra moves. We will go back. So, he played rook e8 and now knight g5, rook f8, knight f3, bishop b7. d4, rook e8 back, knight b, d2. Here white uh, can play knight g5 if you want to try for a draw, but black will replace the rook f8. If again white comes back to knight f3, if black wants to draw, black can rook eight, play rook 8 back. Once again, I will show you. Knight g5, rook f8 and uh, knight f3. If black wants to draw the match, black can play rook 8 and uh, uh, offer the intention of uh, drawing. Or if black is playing for a win, black can try h6 in this position. Alright. So, but in this position, uh, okay. Um, so, here. Kunte didn't uh, go for 9g4 once again, so he went for nbd2. Maybe he is looking for win in this position. Not exactly win, but maybe he is just trying to play on. That is the main logic. Bishop f8. Here, a4. Bishop c2 is considered one of the, once one, one more main line, where nb8 will be the common reply. But a4 is playing against that nb8 plan. Now, nb8 is a mistake. So, you guys please uh, research this uh, position. I am not uh, like discussing that here now. But uh, according to sources, this nb8 is a mistake. So, that is what uh, I can say. Okay. So, here a4 is played. After a4, uh, the after a4, the continuation of the move still move 20. It is complete theory once again. h6 is the theory. Safest uh, move in the position. After bishop c2, now e into d4 is the main line again, c into d4 and here knight b4, bishop b1 and c5, d5 and here black went to knight d, uh, d7 and rook a3. This is the most common uh, attacking idea in this kind of situation because the rook is planning to go to uh, e3, f3, g3, depending upon the situation. 
after black plate f5 here c4 is one of the lines basically so you can just try analyzing that also in json variation f5 is a move plate in this position kunte came up with knight h this move is already played with uh, from one more grandmaster uh, you can just uh, have a look at the database and you can just uh, look for it but my main uh, aim in this position is to show one of the kunte's best games in that particular year in which he became grandmaster that is 2000 and here after ns2 rook is planning to go to king side maybe e3 f3 or g3 depending upon situation knight f6 and here e into f5 came up rook into one queen into one bishop into d5 and now knight g4 b into a4 that's also fine and here rook g3 in this position black played knight into g4 rook into g4 all are okay and here king h8 is the move this is a according to uh, analysis this is the like you know worst continuation other than this till here everything is okay everything is okay queen d7 followed by rook e8 is another suggestion or rook e7 is one more suggestion in this position but king h8 is a move played so this is the worst move and here knight e4 and after that a blunder from black that is bishop a2 so after bishop a2 now comes bishop into g5 now if bishop into b1 so black will play bishop g5 followed by queen into b1 see okay so bishop into h6 now we will go ahead with the game continuation black played d5 because uh, if pawn into h6 means queen c3 check this wins got it so that's why d5 came up after d5 now queen c3 anyway after d4 uh, rook a7 sorry not d4 d4 uh, uh, rook a7 f6 then d4 and here first bishop takes g7 bishop takes g7 queen into c5 in this position black design because now queen h5 is coming up and uh, with uh, so many attacking ideas so this is one of the best games of Kunte in my opinion according to like you know what I have seen the his games in the 2000 because he became grand machine in 2000 right so that's why I just wanted to show the game in the year in which the particular uh, player became grandmaster Indian player in fact okay all right so I hope you enjoyed the game and I request you all uh, to share the channel with your friends so that uh, even they can also take advantage of uh, the ideas which I am discussing uh, in this uh, channel. Thank you and uh, see you in next video. Thank you guys.